It's a Wednesday night, and that can only mean one thing, another midweek bonanza. Um, yeah, the third third week on the run we've been out, got work tomorrow. I'm actually not being worked today, but I've, I've only come after work, so I've been busy in garden. And um, Stu's been at work, so I've only got here like half five, half five-ish. So I've just set up now, because it's forecast a bit of rain, which I didn't realise when we decided to come here but anyway so house is up and um, Stu's got his house up and Stu has got two rods for the cats oh forgot to say where we are we're at top pool um, Stu fancied a change he's been asking how big the cats go in here I said I think they go bigger than founders he's getting greedy so yeah um, we've decided to come top pool there's three there was four of us on ones just um One's just gone, a day angler, so there's three of us now, and, uh, yeah, what time is it? I think it's about half six, half six-ish, something like that. So, um, I'll show you where I'm fishing, and uh, where Stu's fishing, and I'm fishing solid bags as normal for the carp, and if a cat comes along, a cat comes along. But yeah, I'm fishing for the cat really. I'm trying to stay away from the cats a little bit this year because I hammered them last year. I, was, I fished on here quite a lot on here on Top Pool until they had the fish kill. But I'd be interested to see if any, what carp are in here because I'm not quite sure. I didn't really take much notice of the stocking and that, so um, it's just nice to come along and um, do a few hours. So yeah, same same rules as last week. Off at, well, up at quarter to six, six o'clock, and off at seven. Um, pack, packed up. So I'll show you where we're fishing anyway. We have, we have got the walkie talkies again. They're dead handy. Especially at middle of night if you get a run you can do the alarm thing and he'll come and video it or help me help me out with the fish. Yeah because we are we are quite far apart but we're not too bad. So I'm fishing, my left one is just off the left hand margin, it's not right on it, it's about a good two rod lengths off on the left hand side, about halfway. And then my other one is just off the point of that island where you can see that slick well just before it. So the wind's obviously pushing that little bit of oil out my solid bag. So yeah, that's basically where I'm fishing, just before that oil patch. Stu is fishing one off, he's, he's here next to me, he's fishing one off that point of the island there and I think he's got his other one the middle, um, to the right of that bush, just off, just off the uh, margin, off the far margin. So yeah, we're hoping, hoping for a bite at least between one of us, that'd be nice, so we have something to um, show. But yeah, we've only uh, got a couple of hours till dark at least. What time is it? Half six, yeah, two and a half hours before um, dark. So see if we can get a bite before dark, that'd be good. Now, as I said, I'm on my solid bags, on my usual stuff. Um, so yeah, just my normal, my normal pellet and my um, sticky manila. I couldn't remember what it's called then. So yeah, uh, Nothing, I'm not going to show you the solid bag again, you, you've all seen one. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm using. You in Grey? Take long, did it, Gray? Well done. 
aldım. You weigh in it first. Twenty one eighty. That's about five pounds. So it was, it was about fifteen and a half, sixteen. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Deceiving, wasn't it? Yeah. Or did you think it was? You thought it was about eleven pound, didn't you? <laughs> Until I lifted it up and saw it fell. I'm giving yourself credit, was you? So. Yeah. Time is it, Stu, about half seven. Time now is the match has just started United, uh, so it's eight o'clock, so I kindly hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got the match on the radio. So here we go. My first one out of the new stock at Top Pool. So is this you leaving me for dust again? You can tell the brand new fish, can't you? Just look how mint it is. Oh, it's fat. Small, like a stubby fat thing, isn't it? Is it? A stubby fat oh, yeah. thing, isn't it? Try and keep it mint as well. It is a mint, look. It's a Actually, mouth never even had enough in it. I know. Unreal, isn't it? There, yeah. Made up with that, actually. It's hour and a half fishing. I was just making a couple of rigs up. Yeah. So, what if I just don't got them done, Graham? What? With my rigs. Oh, I thought you meant done something wrong then. Yeah, you've just changed the solid bags, haven't you? Copying. <laughs> I'm not fishing for carp. I'm not fishing for carp. Come on. Oh, it's got a little... Oh, there we go. There we are. Little belter. Didn't scrap that well, did it? But no. Who cares? Right, see if we can nick another one, eh, Stu? Yep. Time for you to get one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you go in here. It's ambitious this one. Has it gone over your stilettos? <laughs> Is it? Oh, that was a bit of a result. Um, near enough, oh, lots of branch with me. Don't know where that's come from. Uh, yeah, near enough, near enough 16 pound on the nose. That's, like I said, I thought it was about 12 pound when it first come out. When I first seen it, I just saw this, like the length of it. I thought it was only a small one. Didn't fight that well. And then when I go in the net and saw its belly, I thought, hmm, it's not, it's not too bad. So yeah, my first top pool carp of, um, with the new stock of fish, as you said, as you could just tell, it was an absolute mint fish. It's never hardly been caught or never been caught, whatever. Yeah, they just look, it looks look pristine. So yeah, eight o'clock. It's not going dark till after nine o'clock now. Um, yeah, that came off just off the edge of the island, um, right hand rod. So I might swap rigs later. I don't know. To for cats, I don't know what I'm doing. I have gone, I've got them here, that's why I was tying up my cat rigs and it went and now I'm in two minds what to do. So I'm going to fish till dark anyway off with, with my solid bags um, and see what, if anything else happens then. I might do one of each, I don't know, I don't know. I've brought both sets of baits with me but I might just stay with me, my solid bags. Anyway, I just hope Stu gets one this time because he blanked last time when he was with me at Founders. Um, yeah, hope he nicks one. He's, he's like you said, he's just swapped up, swapped over with solid bags to one one of the rods. I think he's done. See if he can nick a carp after seeing that one because it was mint. Right, catch up with your ladies if anything happens. I've not had a brew yet. 
Uh, I'm going to knock the kettle on now and um, have a minute. Can't believe it, same again. He's watching United. Watching? <laughs> well, listening to United, yeah, he's always you're watching it. Just making me Tom Yum red noodles. <laughs> Tom Yum. <laughs> I'm going to go and make you some eat now before it gets too late. I'm going to make some eat before it gets too late. Don't know, yeah. Got some bits and bobs. Bloody half eight, innit? Half eight? Yeah. I'm going to get these in me. Yeah. Listen to the rest of this match. What scores it? Massive catfishing, what's going to take the bait. What scores it? Nil nil. Who's that? Nil-nil so far, mate. Right, Stuzy. Let's hope we nick one tonight, eh? When it goes dark in about half an hour. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. Gone cold, though, aren't it? Blowing the gale as well. Yeah. It's not so bad in here, but... Right. Catch up. blowing the gale. If you get out, give us a bell walkie-talkie. Yeah, we'll do. Morning, morning, morning. Oh, what a quiet night last night. Absolutely nothing happened. I think I had a couple of beeps and that was it. That's all night. Rain come down quite a bit. Don't know that didn't help. I don't, I don't think so though. It wasn't that cold. Uh, yeah, just dead. <coughs> About quarter to six now. My alarm's going to go off in a minute. But I've just woke up a bit before my alarm. I was a bit lazy last night, so I was going to redo my rods at three o'clock. I got up for a wee, and because um, I was because I was off for work in the morning, I didn't. Um, I didn't want to wake myself up too much, and that's one of the problems when you're doing a midweek bonanza. You don't, you do become a little bit more lazy, and not. Um, it's all about trying to get some sleep in before work. So it's I don't fish as as good when I'm working next day but at least I'm out and to be honest I've only really put my rod in the same place so there's not much point but yeah bit gutted bit gutted I don't think Stu's had anything uh, he's not messaged me and nothing so message me on the uh, walkie talkies so we have a quiet one so I'm going to pack up in about five minutes I've just got the kettle on boiling away. Got a kettle on, we'll have a brew and then we'll start packing up and shoot off. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully next time we'll get a couple more fish. See you later.